okay, you're going to do a video on eternal security in the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John is transitional from under the law to under grace, so it teaches eternal security. A lot of what's written in the Gospel of John mirrors what Paul wrote. So let me show you this. Eternal security in the Gospel of John. John chapter 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You will not perish when you believe in Jesus Christ. John chapter 5, verse number 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. So when you believe in Jesus, you will not come into condemnation. John chapter 6, verse number 35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. And jump down to verse 39, John chapter 6, verse 39. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that all of which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but to raise it up again at the last day. And so again, he won't lose us. When we're saved, when he saves us, he will not lose us. Understanding eternal security is understanding that God saves us. We don't have to save ourselves by continuing in holiness or dying in a state of grace like the Catholics believe. Conditional security is a Roman Catholic heresy. It comes from Roman Catholicism. John chapter 10, verse 28 to 29. And I gave unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. So when we believe in Jesus, when he saves us, we will never perish, and we can't be plucked out of God's hand. And of course, John chapter 17, verse 11 to 12. And I am not, I am no more, sorry, I, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may, that they may be one as we are. While I was in, with them in the world, I kept them in my name, those that thou give, hast given me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. So we're kept by Jesus Christ, and we will not be lost. This verse also ties in with 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. We're kept by the power of God. Okay, So the, the Gospel of John teaches eternal security because it mirrors the church age. It, it mirrors what I call the time of the Gentiles. Okay, So eternal security is a scriptural doctrine for today, the time of the Gentiles. It's not the case in the time of Jacob's trouble because you can't take the mark of the beast. But eternal security is scriptural. It's understanding that God saves you. You don't have to save yourself or atone for yourself by doing your own holiness. That's works. It's Roman Catholicism. Like I said, I've shown in past videos, conditional security is a Catholic heresy. It comes from Roman Catholicism. So don't be deceived by conditional security. It is a heresy. Eternal security, again, is scriptural. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Goodbye. Thank you.